And hello again everyone and welcome back to The Longest Journey. If you remember last time, April finally got all the various pieces of the disc that she needed from the people in Arcadia and reforged the disc, but then a chaos storm appeared. She was forced to shift back to Stark and got back to the, to the border house in time to find that the Vanguard were there looking for you or for her and people got shot. Um, she then escaped through another shift to the House of All Worlds while she met up with the Lady Albane, who told her that Emma is still alive even though she was shot, and we didn't learn anything about Zack, but really, who cares? It was Zack. So anyway, Lady Albane wanted April to go back to Marcuria to see the people who have stayed behind in the face of the Tyrant invasion, because she can learn courage from them. So let's catch up with April as she goes back to Mercuria and continue with The Longest Journey. And here we are back in Arcadia and Mercuria, same place we arrived last time. Let's see how things are doing in the Journeyman Inn. It's deserted, and from the looks of the place, I'd say they left in a hurry, too. Well, there was an invading army coming. Um, that tends to motivate a lot of people to move, April. Let's see what's going on in the rest of the city. Okay, there's only a handful of places we can go, as you can see. Now, I'm going to skip one of them. Because right here is the marketplace. If we go to the marketplace, there's no one there, and the temple is locked so we can't get into it at all. So it's just kind of a side thing to show how everybody's left. Instead, I'm going to start by going over to Brian Westhouse's place. I figured you'd still be here, Brian. April bloody Ryan. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's... It's good to see you, girl. <coughs> now get the hell out of Marcuria before the shit hits the fan. Uh, I don't think you're she not wants leaving, anything. are you, Mr. Westhouse? I, I guess I'm not. I always was an idiot. <laughs> you're not an idiot, Mr. Westhouse, Brian. You're just fighting for something you believe in, something you care about. I don't care a whittle about this bloody town. I think you do. I think you care a lot, but you hate to admit it. Yeah, well... I built this house with my own two hands, you know. First thing I ever did that I was proud of. Real proud of. I ain't about to leave it to those damn tyrant trolls waltzing in here under the pretense of defending their borders. It's the vanguard holding their leash, be sure of that. What are you gonna do when they get here? Hmm? I got an old gun locked up in the pantry. Enough bullets to take down at least mm, two dozen of those goblins. <laughs> I'm going down fighting, that's for sure. You'll be fine, I'm sure of that. Just leave the bottle be until the victory party, okay? Ah, uh, don't worry about that, girl. That's my last batch of real whiskey. All I got left now is bloody Marcurian wine. And believe me, you don't want to get drunk on that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Just take care of yourself, Brian. Take real good care. And you, Miss Ryan. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. And if you ever come back this way... I promise to visit you, of course. Goodbye, Brian. So, 
apparently he's going to stay here to defend his house. Now let's go talk to the Abnaxus, I think his name is. Enter, honored guest, and I would have been with you presently. Well, at least he came down right away this time. I'm glad to see you're okay, Abnaxus. Should I not have been okay, April Ryan? I wasn't sure. Everybody else has left town. Yes, most everyone did. A war is coming. Shouldn't you be leaving too, then? I am, after I see you again. You shouldn't be putting yourself in danger for my sake, Abnaxus. Then, for the sake of the balance, you will find three stones, yes? I did, yeah. Just missing one now. Here, this was the stone of the Venar entrusted to me. I was to take this to Mercuria, and there hold embassy until the Kananglā will come to take it from me. You had this the whole time? Why didn't you tell me before? To have been carrying this on your journey will be too risky, April Ryan. You have it now. Four stones to make one. Now my task is done, and the veil is upon me. There is only the present and the past now. Only those two, not the future. The veil is upon us all, April Ryan. I must leave for my people to be with them in this time of darkness. Thank you for your help, Abnaxus. I will miss you. And I you, April Ryan. May the balance bless you. May the balance bless and protect us all. So once again, they just hand her the stone, as opposed to expecting her to do a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, whatever. All right. Once we're out of here, we can... Or once he's out of here, we can control and head on. All right. We now have all four pieces of the disc, and one or two of the stones. I can't remember if we've got one or two at this point. Um, we need to do something with all these pieces of the disc. And to do that, we need to go here. Now remember this had that weird pattern on the floor that April was so insistent on telling us about exactly how big it was. This is obviously where we merge the four pieces of the disc back into one. So let's see if we can do that. Now, we've only got one of the jewels. They keep calling them, yeah, I guess they are calling them stones as opposed to pieces of the disc. Whatever. So I'm going to take the first one. It's the band of stone. And we basically... They will only go one place. You see, it's not flashing on any of those, but it will flash here. So, you can't put them in the wrong order. And that thing is awfully big looking. Um, April, where were you carrying that? Seriously. Alright, now it's kind of weird. You actually put them in alphabetical order, so starting at the top, and I went with the Bandu first, but whatever. The Elation Stone is the first one in alphabetical order, so it starts here. So the Elation, the Bandu, the next one is um, the Dark People, which is a D, so it would go here.
And the Venar Stone goes in the last place. That's the one we just got. And why we had to go there before we came here. I think I said we had all four stones when I started this episode. It's not like I have this scripted. That didn't work. I think something's gone wrong. Yeah, it doesn't look right, does it, April? It looks like something's blocking the dragon's mouth from opening up completely. Well, we need to get up there and... Who do we know that can get up high and do things for us? Oh, that's right. Oh, crow! Do your little flute dance, April. Don't tell me. You need help with something you can't get to. Nice to see you, too. Why so cynical? Because it seems like the only times you call me is when you need me to do something. It's never to say, Hello, Crow. What have you been up to? Or, Hey, just wanted to let you know how much I love you. Sorry. There's just so much on my mind I forget to treat my friends right. Friend? I'm your friend. Whatever you need me to do, babe, I'm there. Yeah, um, he is right, April. You do tend to just call him when you need him to do stuff, but that's what he gets for being a video game sidekick. Something's preventing that stone dragon's mouth from opening completely. Could you check it out? That's it? <laughs> Easy! And weirdly, the game shows him flying away and then shows him coming back. I don't know why it didn't just have him come here. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. I, I see what's wrong here. When was the last time they cleaned this thing? There's pigeon sh uh, There's pigeon crap all over it. Some of it's so old it's almost petrified. Great. Peck it off. Peck it? Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's disgusting. Nobody told me I was gonna be pecking pigeon crap when I joined up for this adventure. Crow? Pack it off! Yay! Now, why did he get so scared of her at that point? But whatever. I'm on fire! I guess she could have warned Crow what was going to happen, but. Is that expected? I guess it does that to drop the disc into the water and cool it off. But... Alright, that's done. Let's go downstairs and get the disc. Oh yeah, some Minstrom Yurum's still here. Let's talk to him first. Take your time, April. So you're still here? Eh? Oh, it's just you. If you have come to use the library, I I'm afraid I must disappoint you. We're all very busy today. Very busy indeed. Don't worry, I didn't come by to do any reading today. Good. With the Tyrant army approaching, we don't have much time. Is Vestrum Tobias around? Oh, goodness. You do not know? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Tobias, he's dead. Murdered. No, by whom? We don't know, but we suspect Vanguard agents, of course. In the chaos of the evacuation, the soldiers had their hands full, making sure no one was trampled, and that looters were promptly apprehended. When we visited the temple after everyone had left, there were so many books and valuable artifacts we wanted to bring here uh, for safekeeping. We found Tobias by the mules he loved so dearly. 
he'd been stabbed in the heart. And from the looks of it, he didn't resist much at all. He probably even knew his assailant. Why Tobias? He was the kindest, gentlest man I've ever known. Always helpful, always ready to listen. I'll really miss him. So will all of us. He was a great man, and a great Vestrum, and we will never see another like him. But unfortunately, there were many who disagreed with his views, and the Vanguard... Well, they would be happy to see the end of him for good. Another reason for doing everything we can to stop them. Okay, here's a good question. Um, they say that Tobias was killed by someone he knew. Um, that seems like a plot thread we should be able to follow up on. You never can. It actually never comes up again in the game. In fact, they pretty much never mention Tobias again in the game. So it's a little curious as to why that detail is there. I'm not sure what it means. Um, but anyway. Shouldn't you be leaving the city? Leaving? No, I'm staying here with my fellow Minstrom. The Enclave is our life and our home, and we're not letting the Vanguard and the Tyran army drive us away. But we will defend ourselves. With what? Books? We may look harmless, but don't judge a book by its cover. There are many of us who are skilled at magic. I can throw a pretty mean ball of fire myself. We even have swords and bows, and a few of us are well versed with deadly weaponry. So, we won't be easily defeated, trust me. I'm curious as to what the deadly weaponry is, since they mention swords and bows as being something different. When do these guys have weapons from Stark? You know, a railgun or something would probably be a bit of a surprise for the Tyran, wouldn't it? But again, we don't ever follow up on that. What's the rusty wheel downstairs for? The wheel? Oh yes, the wheel. That's used for draining the water out of the pool. Good luck. And to you, the same. Yeah, that's the wheel he's talking about down there. Now, we're going to worry about that in a second. Because, you see, we need to get the disc that's in the pool, and we can't... Uh, it's stuck. All right, so now we need to come back up here and talk to Yaron again. Excuse me? Yes? Do you know why the drainage wheel is stuck? Goodness, it is. Uh, oh, oh why, yes, of course it is. We keep the sluices locked so that the pool is not drained by accident. Could you unlock it for me? Certainly. Uh, but why? Because I need to drain the pool. Goodness me, you do? Very well, I will unlock the sluices. Okay, he wanders out of view here, and we never see him again. So, he is no longer part of the plot. Let's drain this. And let's go get the disc. And there we have it. The disc we need to get into the Guardian's Realm. We just have to get the four jewels to go with it. And we have one of those. From the Blue Dragon. Alright, and we're done here. I don't know where Crow went, but we're actually done in Arcadia believe it or not. Well, more or less. We'll see. I guess... Oh, look. The Tyrant are here. Oh my god, it's an army heading this way, and they've got the road blocked. Where's a shift when you need one? I'm in real trouble here. Come on, shift, shift. I did it last time I was scared out of my mind, and I don't feel any safer now. It's not working. 
I'm just gonna have to hide out in the... Oh! Saved by the bell. Again. I'm like the Incredible Hulk, except my powers only work when I'm scared silly. That's the second time I've opened a shift by instinct alone when I've been in mortal danger. The frustrating thing is, I still don't know how to do it when I'm not scared. Wait, didn't the old lady say I should use what I do best to focus my talents? Is running away really what I do best? Come to think of it, why did the shift dump me here? wasn't even thinking about the studio all right um yeah what we have to do here is april even said earlier that what she does best is painting so let's let april paint and see what she comes up with okay april paint something the old woman, Lady Elvane, was it? She said something about using my craft to focus my powers, to learn how to open a shift at will. I guess it's worth a try. I did it! On my own, I did it! April. Oh, Mother. What's wrong with you? Touch me, April. Hmm. What's happening to you, Mother? I am dying, April. But you can't die. You're the... The Mother, the White Dragon. You're eternal. Aren't you? The Mother is, April. But I am not. It is time for the new to replace the old, for the seed to grow into a flower, and for the withered and the grey to turn to dust and pass on into the ages. Help me understand, please. Take my blue eye, the crystal. You need it. But I can't. Take it, quickly. Thank you. Uh -huh. Please don't go. I am tired. The war with chaos has taken its toll on me. I wish I could have seen my children grow up. When will the egg hatch? When I die and turn to dust. Be here, then, to witness the new mother. I promise. Be who you are, April. Do not be afraid. Of that. Who am I? My daughter. My own daughter. And yes, it's. She's not speaking metaphorically. April is the daughter of the White Dragon. Um, we can somehow figure out how that can be, but April is the daughter of the dragon. Who you are, sister? Sister. I, I can do it now. I can shift. It's not easy, but I can do it. Ironic as it may be, though, I think I've done all I can do in Arcadia. I have the two Arcadian dragons' eye jewels, the disc, and the star map. Now I need to find the Guardian, the two missing jewels, and somebody who can help me decipher the star map. And I have to look for those things here, in Stark. Yeah, the game kind of gives you an obvious hint of, this is what you need to do now, Step here. It's a little odd. But yes, April, the 
despite what you would think, April is the daughter of the White Dragon, which means April is not completely human. Now, honestly, this bothers me a little bit because it's not a case of, you know, April is someone who just um, does what she can. I don't know. I just guess I just don't like the fact that they made April someone special all of a sudden. You know? You're not just an ordinary person. You're the daughter of the White Dragon. Of course you can do all these things. And it may be weird, but to me that kind of takes a little bit away from it. But still, we have to support April for who she is, and she's good. Um, what we need to do now is get somebody who can help us decipher the map. April said, and we've already got somebody who's been helping us. Remember Burns Flipper? He's got an ID card for us so we can get into the nice parts of town already. Let's go see what Burns has come up with in the week or so we've been gone. And the garage is open now. I think I mentioned that if you tried to come by here before this, when you came back to Arcadia, the, or came back to Stark the first time, that this door would have been closed and you couldn't have gotten in. Which is why I didn't go there then. And we have to be careful, because remember the Vanguard are after us now. And they've already shot Emma and probably killed Zack. I guess we should thank them for that second piece, but whatever. Sorry I'm late. Whoa! It's the fake ID girl. Hold on. Her name's April Burns. You should know that. You got now. it? Where you been, man? I've been holding on to this for a week now. Yeah, a week. What's the trouble? I made a punt. What's the trouble? What's the fucking trouble? The trouble is, baby, this thing's hot. It sizzles, man. They catch it with the shit on my hands. They give me 20 at least. Like you wouldn't get twice that for any of the stuff you have in here. Yeah, but that's mine, man. Mine. My problem. This here is yours. Shit, take it. I don't want it anymore. What up? That's all. Well, actually, it's not, but the game's gonna make us do it this way, so... Let's see if Burns can help us with the star map we got for the Dark Evil. Any chance of you deciphering this for me? Hmm. Looks old. This old? It looks old. It's gotta be old. What do you do, rip off a museum or something? Cause I'm cool with that. It was a gift. Would you be able to calculate the coordinates of that... cross based on the positions of the stars? Shouldn't be a problem, as long as this thing's accurate. I'll just do some chem trace tests. See when it was made, and then figure out the rotation of the constellations and calculate the... Yeah, sure. And what's it gonna cost me? This time? You still got credit from the AG unit you gave me. Works like a fucking charm. I'll tell you, baby, it's hot. I can float like the wind. Duts! Mmm! Even with two people on at the same time. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to know that. So, when can I get the results? Can't do the chem tests here, but I'll call a friend of mine. Owes me a favor. Come back later. Yeah, yeah, later. Much later. Sure. And hey, don't wait a week this time. Got it. The only thing I really want to point out there is the captions, the subtitles, were completely different, or majorly different from what Burns was saying. Now, they've always been a little bit off, but that was bad even for... I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway, we've got Burns doing that now, um, and we have our fake ID so we can get into the nice part of town. Run, April, run. And just to let you know, uh, this is not as long as some of the episodes I've been running. This one's only about, I guess we're about 30 minutes into this. But there's a, another large sequence coming up that isn't going to be the best, you know, 
there's no good point to break during the middle of it, so I'm going to get us to the next piece and then probably stop this for today. Um, let's head back to the subway. And we're going to Metro Circle. It's not a good idea for us to go into the um, back to the border house because the vanguard are waiting for us there. Instead, we're going to walk to these elevators over here. Um, if we did not have the fake ID, we could not have gotten on this elevator because only the privileged elite are allowed to use this. But we have a fake ID. Okay, the main thing you have to look at here is notice this kid runs up just as we get here and he throws a pizza box away. Just remember that's there. It came from this pizza machine here. Um, what I want to have April do is walk over here. There are places here, to some other places here, there is a what they call the tubes back here. This is actually where you would go to get to the interstellar colonies. And we have a shuttle here which is where you go to get to the nice part of town. Now, neither of those places will let us in because we're dressed, well, basically in the whatever we got from Arcadia. Remember, this is what they gave us back at the Journeyman Inn a while back. So, we're going to have to dress nicer if we want to fit in with the elite up here. They got the coolest clothes in that store. The coolest and most expensive. I saved for months to buy a pair of socks there once. The coolest pair of socks I ever had. You've only been here in Arcade in um, Venice for about six months, April. Have you already lost the coolest pair of socks you ever owned? Let's go shopping. I could definitely do with a change of clothes. And so what if this store's way out of my league? After what I've been through, I deserve to splurge a little. I look good, I feel good. Thank God they had a thermal shower in there. I needed a proper disinfection and delousing. And we're glad that you did that, April. Um, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up this pizza box. Because we're going to need it in a few minutes. Yes, you could have come, gone to where we're going to go and pick it up later, but... And then we're going to take the shuttle to the nice part of town. But I think we're going to save that for next time because I think we've done enough for one day. So I'm going to leave you for now. And when we come back next time, we will head over to the nice part of town. And we will finally have a showdown with MTI Industries, the Church of the Voltec, the Vanguard, and Jacob McGallan. So until then, this is Dennis. This is Tenstown of the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.